What's good, everybody? It is your boy, Dark Flight K, Clutching Game 24-7, and we are here giving you guys some more off-meta formations here in Madden 24. We are literally going through every formation that there is in the books of all of Madden. I'm going to give you guys some help in certain schemes, certain formations that, uh, you know, you can implement into your own thing. So if you guys enjoy it, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like because we are banging all these videos out for you guys, man. And we came up with another one live on stream because we were streaming here on the YouTube. We were streaming live on Twitch. So if you guys was watching it from the live stream, you guys already know. But or if you came from the YouTube short of seeing them, you guys are going to see the whole setup right here in the four three over Ed. Now the four, <clears throat> excuse me the four three over Ed is only in two formations. Okay, it's in the Atlanta Falcons and then the Tennessee Titans. Okay, it's only in two books. So we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how the over Ed be coming in over easy. You feel me? So we're gonna go ahead and trade out Demarcus Lawrence right here on the edge. And this right here is where your user is going to be. I know, I know, I know. It is wild. Two users, two of your user spots should be right here where 90 is and 46 is, or 14. So kind of right here in this spot. Let me go back over here to it. Um, number 14, Bell. I'm cool with Bell being right there. Malik Jefferson. I want to trade him out for Damone Clark. Uh, here in this, I'm going to put Sam Williams right here. This is where I want Demarcus Lawrence at. And I want Oza right there. So, basically, Clark and Sam Williams will most likely be my users right here. No, actually not Sam Williams. Vander. Vander will be my user right here, and Clark will be the users here. So, if this is a reg standpoint, you got to find your fastest linebackers. Preferably with a lurker pick artists if you're playing regs and cfm but if you're at a much standpoint this is where your lurk artist should be uh right here 55 and 33 and then depending on if the people is doing some wild stuff maybe going to a five wide things of that nature you want 14 to actually be another user so 14 33 and 55 will have to be where your users is going to be but right now i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how it is with the pressure coming in right here uh, and here in the back, uh, Malik Jefferson or whoever you want right here, he's going to have to be one of your, uh, good coverage guys, speed. Um, same with your user here at 14, as long as you know, he has speed and he can get to the quarterback as well. He'll be fine. But, uh, right here, you're really only sending 11, 97 and 90. You're really only sending them. And also with your user right here at 55, you're going to need somebody right here that is going to. Not only act great as a user, but basically think about it as a second slash third user, but also has really good, like, you know, shedding and uh, basically can be a pass rusher and a user at the same time. So basically, if it wasn't for Micah being an edge threat, uh, um, having those abilities, he will be here in the spot is what I'm saying. So right here, uh, you can do any of these uh, adjustments here. But basically, you can come out in one thing and then come into another. So basically, this is the, uh, what you call it? These are basically going to be my audibles. Cover four quarters, overload, fireman, cover three, sky, Tampa two. Most likely, sometimes I will just come out and base Tampa two. Um, actually, instead of overload, fireman, because I don't really run man, I will really come out in this cover six, really. But it's really all preference. Because like I said, there's only 12 plays in here. You can do whatever you want in it. Uh, you can also come out in this strong stink three and audible over to something different so you can bring that safety down to help you guys out. And that's one thing about some of these formations that they have this strong stink three. Let's just say we come out in here and go off into a, a bunch look right here. Uh, where is it at? Right here. And you go ahead and he comes in right here, go over towards him, go ahead and wiggle him just a little bit. And now I'm here into a Tampa two. So now we can go ahead and uh, mix things up when it gets to things just like that. So they basically now, if you really wanted to, you can actually use him as a user on that side. And you can kind of turn this into this cover three. So basically you're basically using 
a safety down here instead of using um, a linebacker. And then everybody else can go into um, a zone. So then you can kind of turn this into this right here, boom. And now you can use or whatever you want. So that's one thing that you can do in this formation, bring that down, switch it into something different. So basically you have this here that you switch it to a cover four, boom, switch it just like that. Turn the, uh, turn this into an inside third or really just turn this out there like, oh, not like that, jeez. Um, yeah, basically into an inside third or something like that. You can change it into many different types of formations. Like you basically come out and what it was before, you know, as he comes down. Yeah, as he comes down and then you can switch it to that cover three. And then basically everything is already done. Turn that uh, linebacker on over here into a curl flat, and then basically that's it. Shade down, shade over top. You can definitely do something in this defense like this. Go ahead and just use it. It's right here. Um, the outsides really wasn't working on. Really wasn't worrying about the outsides here on this play. It was really just to show you an example and things that you can do here. Come down here, and switch into like a cover six, and then just put circle up there just like that. Or if you really want to, just to bring him down to have him play certain things. Uh, you could do something just like that. Use our Clark right here because he stays inside that three wreck. You do that just like that. And then you're actually using him like this. But, uh, yeah, that's actually certain, uh, certain things that you can do in this formation. But now let's go ahead and show you guys the blitzing that is going to come in this formation all alone. And it really isn't a Pacific play here in four, three, I mean, three, four over Ed because it comes in any formation. I mean, it comes in any play. Uh, we're gonna turn on auto flip because this Sam Crash 3 is actually the setup to what you're gonna do in other formations, right? So you see how this linebacker is literally curving out? That's basically the loop version of the blitz that is in here. So you can basically, basically come out in this and have a loop on the outside and an A gap while you have in pressure disengaging with the D line or you can come out in a normal let's just say cover six Tampa two cover four and you can have that same pressure come in with that so basically when I say you can do this in any formation basically whatever it is in a back because like I said two out of your three linebackers is going to be blitzing so really it doesn't really matter the coverage that it is with your linebackers it really more matters about the safeties and what coverage you want them to be in the back so here in the cover six basically just use all the safeties dbs coverage that you have back there for what you want in the back and then you can adjust to what you want later on because literally you're going to be using all linebackers to get straight to the quarterback anyway so let's just say we come out here into a tampa two uh, cover two kind of mindset right here. All you got to do is basically shift your point of attack to the right twice. So that means left on the D-pad, right on the right stick, do that twice. And then right on the D-pad, down on the right stick, do that twice. And this is basically the blitz right here. So what this is, is basically making an overload to the left side of the field. Um... This overload to the left side of the field is basically all going to be on the left guard, a.k.a. 69. Um, it's going to happen majority of the time to where all four of them is going to um, literally overload that spot for somebody to come in. Um, either it's going to be Bell that's literally going to come in straight through the gap, uh, the A gap, or it's going to be... 69 taking control of him and then it will be uh jefferson coming in on that outside and it's literally going to be just like that every single time uh best thing to do is to bring the uh safeties down here then go ahead and bomb 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 and bring out to this sand point now with this blitz uh with clark right here you do not need to put him in the blitzing form you can if you want to but really, you can put him into like a vert hook on that side. You can basically put him into a hard flat. So that means you can turn the defense into like a cover two on one side, cover three on the other side. You can do that. 
Um, you can also turn it into like a cover four type thing to make it look like it's a cover six. Um, you can make it go to curl flat. So that means you can do a double Mabel over on this side as well. Uh, but there's many different things that you can do here. You can leave that in the vertical hook just like that. It is many different things that you can do with the formations in the back. But that's why he is going to be, that's what he's going to be doing in this situation. And this works the same exact way. Let's just say if this is flipped the other way. So we're going to go ahead and uh, reset the play here. And on this side of the field, you're going to go ahead left on the D-pad. Actually, no, it's. Yeah, left D-pad left on the right stick and do that twice and then same thing with the linebackers right on the d-pad down on the right stick and now it's going to be a overload this well not really it's going to be a overload to the right guard but kind of more into the safety slash right guard at that point and it's basically now going to be the same thing it is on the left side and you can fix it to whatever you want but right here in this spot, we're going to go ahead and focus on this spot. Right here, it looks a lot better because basically it's going to go towards from left to right instead of right to left. And we're going to go ahead and just put this into like a vert hook. Just help you out. Now, right here with your user, all you're going to need to do is literally stand right here and hold on to the left trigger. Hold on to the left trigger wait like maybe 75 percent of one second you know what i'm saying so basically one then go and it is going to take the attention of 65 onto me 51 onto demarcus lawrence 62 onto uh the d tackle here and then 68 68 here onto michael parsons so that means now those two linebackers can come and it's a two-on-one situation to get to that uh that spot of the gap so we're going to go ahead and let this play as i push it a little bit too early stay right here a little bit come through and now you can see you have a a gap coming in with that linebacker now not every time is it going to be an a gap sometimes it's going to be um what's his name it's going to be jefferson coming in really like i said over here to this uh right side 65 is going to be looking at me 51 is going to have to look at him but actually in this spot they actually switched it up a little bit normally it would be the other way around and now swift and uh dixon i mean dickerson actually paid attention to him so that means he came in completely free so now we're going to try it again and do it just like this and even with this you can uh, show blitz, but you cannot shift your line over. You cannot. Oh, actually, you can. I didn't know that you could. You actually can. I didn't know that you could do that. But most likely, you can even show blitz, and it will keep the linebackers here in that state. So you really wouldn't have to move anybody out of the way when you do this. So what you could do, you can show blitz here, which brings the safeties down for you. And if you want to, you can man manually bring the corners back up and do that if you want to. Um, but yeah, we're just basically going to set this up just like that. And you can do it just like this. If you really want to, you can buff blitz it. You can bluff blitz it, maybe add in a little bit of a, you know, a little uh, confusion to them sending them in. But right here, we're going to go ahead and set this up again. Keep it just like this. And this time it didn't even come in. But maybe the uh, bluff blitz kind of messed it up a little bit. Because uh, that was the first time I ever put that in there. Let me see what that did. That kind of just made him go over and not even worry about it. So we're not going to bluff blitz it. Boom. And now we can bring them in. If you do uh, show blitz with this, just go ahead and wiggle him a little bit. And then he'll go back to where he's supposed to be. Not really that much of a problem. You can even do this as a, a formation if you really wanted to. But once again, just literally stand right here. Hold on to left trigger. And then just go out for that pass. Um, but really, that's how the pressure would come in. 
Boom. Go ahead. We'll go ahead and bring him back in. And this is basically all the pressure that you can get in here. Uh, boom. And as you can see now, Malik comes in on that left side. Now, for it to even come in, instead of just staying right there the whole time like I did to play before, as you can see with my user, I did move in just a little bit. Uh, you have to move just a little bit so he wouldn't think that, oh, you're just standing there. We don't have to worry about you. As soon as I move, now the intention is on him. So now you get that uh, blitz off the left side that I said, like, 69 will literally come over, play that D tackle. So he will come in. And for some reason, now the linebacker went and went on to that right side. That's why you uh, sit here and blitz it twice. Because if you go ahead and blitz the linebackers once, they do this blitz angle. You do it a second time, they go into this angle. So make sure you do it twice, maybe three times if you really need to fix that, if you really need to. And come in with something like this. But as soon as it's height, hold on to left trigger and then come down a little bit. Then come up just so you know that you are a blitzer. I mean, just so I can tell you that you are a blitzer. So that means that can come in. Don't just stand there and hold on to left trigger. Basically, you see now 65 is sitting here looking at me when there shouldn't be anybody there. And like I said at first, at first it will look like the linebacker will come in into an A-gap if it's here in the middle. Or it's going to be a loop here on the outside with him. And it comes in pretty fast. Alright? So do that. If he comes in, just wiggle him. Make, him, make sure he comes back. And just do that. Whoops. Actually, no. Uh... There we go. And then we can put it, like I said, you have to do it in many different things to kind of uh, help you out. Uh, outside quarter it if you really want to put them in a hook curl. And as soon as it hikes, come down a little bit. And you can see that he's coming in completely free. Now, sometimes you will get stuck on a D line if you do try and like uh, bring them down. But um, I advise you, instead of him coming in here like that, because some people do like to quick hike this to make sure that you uh, show blitz first and then go ahead and do the adjustment. Uh, boom, come in just a little bit, come back out, and you guys can see that you can still have that pressure coming in, either one person coming in or even two. Now, this has not been tested that much against a, uh, what you call it, against a blocked running back. So you guys are gonna see it here now. Now here, when it comes into like a block running back, the one thing that I uh, told y'all about in like the other formations where you need to with a block running back is if the block running back is here and you need to take the, uh, what you call it, you need to take the attention away from it. Here we go. We're going to uh, show blitz once again. Um, we're going to come out into like a cover two here on this side. Basically, um, user, the guy here with the running back at this point coming down into the gap make sure you have a blitzing assignment and the same adjustment is how we had the uh blitz over towards the right i mean to the left side to overall the left let's go ahead and do the point of attack and slant it to the left twice here on the d line and then blitz all your linebackers and basically all i'm doing here is holding on to left trigger right here waiting for the running back to take care of me Basically, just basically look at me come up and not even block here on his left side. Do it just like this. And he is supposed to come and take care of me as an, uh, what you call it, as an assignment. Instead of, um, what you call it? No. No. Bell. Bad boy. Get back. There you go. So then, right here, what I'm going to do is just, when he hikes, I'm going to just like come up just a little bit and hold on to the left trigger to kind of uh help out with that so once again height come down a little bit and as you guys can see now it comes in on that right side now sometimes if it does um happen the way that it just did right there he will go and pick up the a gap but it's really just enough for 69 to come over and take care of me. So then the running back got to go ahead and choose one. So either it's the running back that got to take care of me or one of the offensive linemen to come and take care of me. But basically shifted over to the left side, blitz, 
Uh, but show blitz first before you sit here and do the show blitz because then it's going to bring the safeties in. I mean, the uh, linebackers in and kind of mess it all up. So basically stay right there. Make sure that you take care of either 69 or the running back. And as you guys can see, the it comes in way, way better than it would be before. So show blitz. Bring your user right here. Go ahead and slant to the outside of your D-line. So that means left on the D-pad, left on the right stick, and repeat that twice. And then blitz your linebackers, which is right on the D-pad, down on the right stick. And as soon as it hikes, just literally hold LT, creep down a little bit, and then they will come in. And that's versus a blocked running back, okay? Uh, But yeah, that's the blitz right there. Um, and the difference that was here in Sam crash three, the only difference is instead of them both getting to the a gap to sit here and get towards a, um, like basically let's go ahead and move him back just like that. The, that's the one thing I do not like when you show blitz with that. So I'm not going to show blitz when it, I do that. So basically I'm a press. And bring the safeties in myself. That's the one thing I don't like about it. Um, and it's kind of bugged anyway. So normally I will have to come out in the play. And hope that it doesn't do that. Okay cool. So now it doesn't do it. Most likely you're going to have to like. Just bring your safety in to kind of help out. But here in this aspect. You already have this done. You already have it done. So what you could do is basically double tap right on the D-pad to bring the individual player up, triangle, and down, and then do that same thing again. So now he's just the only one blitzing. Keep that purple out there if you really need it. And this will be the setup. It's really just that, or what you can do is right on the D-pad, down on the right stick, and just blitz all the linebackers again. And then you will have to... I don't know why it hiked that quick. I don't know what that was. But the only thing that you would do here in this situation, boom, wiggle him, make him go back, blitz all the linebackers, and then put your linebacker into like a hard flat or put him into like a hook curl. And that would be the setup right there. Just basically bring them in. And it will be the same thing. But like I said, hold on to the left trigger, come down a little bit just so 65 can get there. But now... Malik is looping around the outside to get towards the quarterback, and he's coming into a straight A gap. That's the only difference with this. So as soon as it hikes and come down just like this, you see how he has to loop around the outside now to get towards the quarterback. It's the same thing, but that loop comes in every single time around the outside. Yes, it's going to take a longer time for him to get out there, but the one thing that you could do is I believe that you can do that here in this situation. Blitz, bring them in, come on down, QB contain, and then re-blitz your user. I don't believe this will work as much as I think it will. Yeah, it wouldn't work that well because I would need the contain to be on the right side. But I'm saying right there is the contain, so it pretty much wouldn't work. So really, just keep it the way that it is. There we go. And just watch it come in the same time as it did before. But that's pretty much the blitz. If you guys enjoy it, make sure you guys go ahead and leave a like. Comment down below some other stuff you guys would like to see formation-wise. Subscribe if you guys are new. And as always, folks, peace out.